I blame the media. Why am I blaming them? I'll tell you why. And I also blame social media. It doesn't matter whether you're, you believe in the virus, don't believe in the virus, whether you're pro-vaccine or not pro-vaccine, whether you're conservative Labour, are you Republic or you Democrat? And I know I'm in the UK. In the UK, apparently, we have a free party system and then there's a Green Party, there's SNP. You know, we once had Conservatives, Labour and Liberal Democrats and the Liberal Democrats, they're about as much use as Jesus Christ on the cross at an atheist convention. There's just no point. Nobody believes in them. And with this, you've got all of this politics and then you've got the media. And the media have just become the worst promoters of clickbait. I know on one hand they're quite liberal but they're worse than that now it's just clickbait scaremongering clickbait scaremongering it's insufferable <clears throat> they don't even ask valid questions of anybody anymore I mean, we talk about them trying to be accountable but the only thing they're into is cancel con culture they don't care about the facts. They don't care about motives. It's all just how can we get a one minute soundbite? How can we get Facebook likes? How can we get Instagram likes? There's just all integrity, if it ever existed, has disappeared. And it's so frustrating. You just, I mean, it's good that there's independent news feeds starting to come through on places like YouTube. But where are we going to go to just get news? Not someone's opinion. And I think for me that that's when the media and the news channels got it all wrong. And that's where it started to go wrong is when we had this 24 hour coverage and they were just constantly looking for content and it just turned into Let's just have people's opinions. The more outrageous, the better. The more social justice woke warriors we can find, the better. And like all they've done is divide people. You can no longer even be just conservative or Labour, Republic or Democrat. You know, you can't even just be communist or capitalist now. You've got to belong to some form of alphabet group and you've got to be charging down the road, defending them at every, at every juncture. You're not even allowed to be, well, I'm in favour of that, but I don't really believe in that. You know, I think 90% of the people out there probably consider themselves quite centre. You might lean a little to the left on some topics, a little to the right on others. And then somewhere in the middle, there's things you're quite well informed about that you quite like. And there's things that you're not that well informed about and didn't really know was going on in the world. And then there's things I don't particularly care about. Things I'm not particularly interested in. They're not really relevant to me. But apparently it's really polarising if you're not aware of every single thing. And the media are the one who dictates what that thing should be. And one minute we're banging on about climate change, the next minute it's corrupt politicians. And then we're on about immigration, refugees, education. But I don't know where I stand on any of that. I'm not really that bothered about refugees. But I'd like it if you broke laws in my country for us to be able to deport you without any problems. Really, I'd prefer if we went to the source of the problem of refugees and why they are fleeing their countries and what is the purpose of the United Nations? Why aren't we doing something about that using the United Nations? Why aren't we stopping the crisis before it's a crisis? But again, I, I will openly say I'm not that well informed to know what the answers is to that or why it's happening. But that would actually be my first question. But I want to know more than anything why the media is so divisive. 
And I don't mean they can't be left or right. The, you know, you, you can't not have a side in a sense. You can't. But they're so divisive. They are the original council, uh, council culture. They're worse than, well, maybe not worse than, but they're the ones that encourage the celebrities. They're the ones that encourage the think tanks. They're the ones that encourage all of these organisations to go after people and then say it's what you and I want. Well, somebody fucked up 10 years ago, 20 years ago, said something that actually wasn't that offensive then. I don't need them to lose their job today because of it. I know my flaws. I don't want anyone to lose their jobs today for something they did 20 years ago. I know my flaws. I know I have skeletons in my closet. I know I'm not always impeccable. I know also know I'm frustrated with the media. I'm frustrated with the constant barrage of things I'm supposed to believe in that I don't. The constant barrage of things that I'm supposed to be in control of that I'm not. I'm constantly getting pissed off with the way the media keeps dividing people, that if you're not on our side as we demand, then you're the enemy. And you have to speak to other people like they're the enemy. And they're the ones shutting down the dialogue. Because when social media platforms like YouTube, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook do it, they don't call them out on that. They encourage it. They're the ones that demand these people be taken off the platform. If not, they demand, if they don't do it, they demand from politicians, what are you doing to stop hate speech? Instead of what are you doing to protect freedom of speech? What are you doing to protect dialogue? Because it's only going to get worse. I don't know. We just need to do something about it. Maybe you just need more people like me ranting. And there's plenty of us out there. So I'm in good company. If you want to hear more rants, click like and subscribe. Thank you.